Welcome to my channel. This is Sam and I'm playing the Red Dead Redemption 2. So in the last video we started doing main missions again. So I will roam around and uh, also look around for <coughs> secondary missions or secondary objectives or things like stagecoach robbery or those things tips that I get now and then I also need to hunt animals see we, uh, we have like I need to go back to the camp Trelawney, we were. Uh, I told you guys that we start with Trelawney. Right? This is where those uh, Indian guys are waiting for American fathers. Yeah, we'll go there too, but not now. First, we'll go back to Trelawney. Or uh, first, I will check my satchel. We have already found out Jack Hall Treasure I think I got some What is this? You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here Oh, we got this book from that guy. We also did this poisonous trail. I think we got this. Got the treasure, yeah. The killer. Let me check. Eastern documents, treasure maps. We got the Jack Hall treasure. We got the poisonous spell treasure. We got the high stakes treasure. Sixth treasure map. I think this will open up after doing some mission. I said that, that we got this mended map also. Uh, some. This is the killer's map. Um, something. I think I have seen this place. Maybe I have seen. Break. 
this is a coach tip i think this is a, like a stage coach tip Due. The investors are starting to get well. The north of San Denis is going to come south. Oh. 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 I want this place. Maybe the bridge is in this three years. I won't know. Uh... Okay, let's go there and then check. I'll just mark this place. earlier guys roam around in chapter 2 find people do missions because if you leave out those missions there there may be some characters missing afterwards Maybe this is some you are the most people
Never mind. in the shadows. Oh, this bridge. I think he was talking about this bridge, but he did not tell me anything about it. Time. Or is it written? No. It's not even written. So it's uh, time specific than I want. Right. Yeah, we're camping. from this far okay, let me make a camp here let's see how far it takes me okay I think that's oh. it's not a good one it's just a box Okay, I think I have wasted enough time, is it? No. Let's see. Yeah. 15 minutes I have wasted. Okay, we'll go to Trelawney next. I was just looking.
shooting down the camp. Bridge. This is the only bridge in see this is the bridge. There are no other bridges here. Let's go back to St. Denis. Oh, we still not dying. No stage game is coming. So it was okay that all see that. Okay, let's study that.
was so close and then I thought it would eat, eat me alive. I really thought it would eat me alive. Fuck! I'm dead. <laughs> so bad. So this is what happens when you get too close. Twenty-two minutes wasted. I think you guys got the lesson right. Did I lose my gun too? Tables on a Lana Hassi riverboat looking like this? Can't yeah. not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The well, this is free. From all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. <laughs> Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. 
You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, uh, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! So, um, after this time, I'm getting hit. And a shame. My good man! Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Maybe I'll go like this. What is that like just... Oh, this is where the existing comes. So I think I like this one better. So I'll do this. some transportation for us. George! To the Grand Gorgon, please. Well, Grand Gorgon, sir. Well, look at you! Toad, the prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? Coach, we can't win any up there. Horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brand new man. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, I'm So, who's a mark? You're not by the way, driver. Oh yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune and hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, 
How does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now, remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. This is all Gentlemen, a wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but... Yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but <laughs> I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife.
Sometime before 1900 would be nice. Raise. Go, bat. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Oh, call. Interesting. They're cowgirls. Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Burst. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! <laughs> no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Is that a gunshot? 
Kind of sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and carrying cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, they want to get the shirt. So I should have the other ones, right? Uh, 
the things we did was in the newspaper. So let's go to Sedi. Oh, there's a side mission available here. Let's go here. Right? Uh, past event Valentine, maybe. Because I am very far away from Valentine. Okay, let's get out of this. Such times, me, Gavin. Found this guy earlier. Oh, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. I think it was in Valentine. Oh, he's the best. He's still, he's still searching for Gavin. Oh, I am so worried. Gav. Gav. Uh, Gav. Where are you? Where are you? my camp and go to Valentine. I know I have wasted some time. It's all right. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought the war. 
I fought for you. Okay then. I suggest you get cut a few and cents. Run. Hey, mister. Hey, buddy. Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boar Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boar Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis? On a riverboat? Oh, okay, then. Wow, I just here, came from San Denis. Let's take the bomb to push the bomb. Look here. You want to catch another center bounty hunter? Take a gander at the poster there. Ellie and Swan. The Terror of Valentine. <laughs> that one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, you got it. Be relentless in your pursuit. But I'm going to send her this first. Oh, this one's closer, right? I can do both of this. Ain't you got other things to do than bother me? Time we're on Picking that girl faster. I should have gone from up there, but I couldn't cross the river. Going the right way. Just follow me. Maybe we see if our last time was luck, huh? 
I'm feeling good today, Wei. What do you say about opening the ante this time? Make it interesting. Why not? I'm feeling good too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay? Who can shoot the most bottles? Just throw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> shoot! Easy, man. Maldito! You just got lucky. If that makes you feel better, sure. Oh, that was damn pathetic. Oh, how about another round, huh? Huh? Raised stakes. Come on. Right, let's do it. Could we? Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good call, amigo. Just like before, mi amigo. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, you win. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah! There they go! Shoot! But not quite. Practice more, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? Hey, okay. Give me what you owe me, cowboy. Run, bitch. Run. that one repeater. Why do I do this type of missions at all? Use this
now no one will challenge me. <laughs> I know man, I just want pair and square and then he says, uh, let's do another competition, let's shoot birds. And he is shooting birds, I don't know how. That's just... Region yet, man. I have no idea about it. something here no 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 not uh, just isn't your day is it Man, I'm getting ready. Come on, horsey. Oh, dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. I see blood. There's blood everywhere. He won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a blue girl. We're really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? Jail. A jail ain't where I belong. What you 
a sanatorium. Well, it's a long way to better death. Maybe. Get me help, mister. Please. Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they've all been weak. That's what my problem has been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow. I don't have time for this shit. I'm just go in jail and then. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your cuts. Cut this bounty hunt, nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah! I wish you die. Ah! jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Here we go. Oh. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> that we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she can find herself a husband. Matrix said she is reported to have an unknown male accomplice. Twenty five Well, that's cowboys for you. Indeed. So bye guys. And oh, okay. you should see yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe. So we will start with this. And we can further in the next video. After that, we'll go for. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. This, yeah, we'll start with this. Um, uh, no, no, we'll go to Saint Denis, do this, then Delhi, then that mission. So, bye, guys. Bye. Yeah.